Good morning and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. We're certainly glad to have you and we're also very thankful to BTC Fiber. They're our sponsor for our program. So I want to thank you very much for joining us today. And today we have with us Kathy Shellhorn uh, from Frosted Flamingo Bakery. And Kathy, it's certainly good to have you today and uh, glad you uh, took the opportunity to be with us today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And uh, of course, Kathy and I, we uh, we go back. We <clears throat> took a leadership class this past fall together uh, through the chamber, and uh, and I got, I got to know you then because uh, I don't think I'd ever met you before. No, I don't think. And uh, in that leadership, let's let's just start with that leadership class. Uh, what were some of the things you learned from the leadership class? Because uh, we're going to talk about your bakery in a minute. <laughs> but what were some of the things you learned from that uh, leadership class? What it takes to actually start up a business the where you have to look at what you have to have um your you know costs as far as what you the daily cost of it versus you know stuff that you have to have recurring charges um that it's not cheap <laughs> um but i mean you learn how to you know do you know there's resources out there to help you start your business and to find what you need and to, you know, there's just contacts to be made and that's way of, you know, it was a way of networking to uh -huh. find other people that could help you in some way if you needed it. Well, I thought that class uh, was a, a good, like you said, the other people to help you because everybody was real supportive of each other and there was a variety of ideas for different types of There were. You, we got a lot of, you know, and they could, you could get input from different people on what you may be doing and if they thought maybe it would work or if it wouldn't work or if they had a different idea as to what you might try. So, it, you know, it was a lot of a lot of good input for me, myself. I know that I've done pretty good since then. I mean, I did okay before, but it just seems like it's kind of grew. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you want, right? Yes, that is exactly what you want. And you mentioned in that class, uh, one, some of the things, like, like say that class taught us uh, how to be prepared. You can't just go out and so say, I'm going to start a business and start it. No. <laughs> and uh, you, you've got to be uh, prepared. you got to get all your ducks in a row, so to speak. Yes. I mean, and, you've got startup costs um, and, you know, you can get backers. They have, I can't remember what it's called, but where you are in a group and you pay so much in and then that group helps you get started and then you can, you know, pay it forward with the next person or whatever. Um, you know, and, you know, you, to find a place, you know, you've got to have a place. You've got to be able to make the rent. You've got yeah. to have everything like that. You know, they can stuff. You know, it helps you figure out what you need and what, where you're at. Well, uh, speaking of that, now that we talked about the class, uh, your Frosted Flamingo Bakery. Uh, first of all, I like the name. How did you come about with the name? Well, I did not have a name going into the class, and we kind of, you know, kinda, we all brainstormed what we wanted to call our um, businesses. You know. And so I, I think one of the girls, Michelle, I think it was, maybe mentioned uh -huh. it. I can't, can't remember who said it, but it came from the class, actually. Well, and I am a fanatic about flamingo, flamingos. If you know me, that's the one thing I'm obsessed with. Um, and so it just fit. Well, that's good. Now, how long have you been uh, interested in doing baking? I mean, this has been, I know this hasn't just been something you come up with one day and said, hey, I'm going to do this. When I got married back in 2000, I wanted a hobby. So I took the Wilton take decorating classes, there's four. Uh -huh. And so I have been doing this since 2000. Um, probably I got started, actually before I got married, we got married in May, I would say probably about March of 2000, I've started taking the classes uh -huh. and you know, over almost 21 years now, well, pretty much 21 years now. Well, so that's kept you busy. It, it has, it has. Um, I actually, my dad bought me my, my KitchenAid back then and I'm still using it today, so I still have the first KitchenAid that I started with, and I tell you what, it makes life a whole lot easier when you make <laughs> when you're baking and making your icing. I, I bet. Now, <clears throat> a lot of uh, you know, uh, of course, not everybody wants to bake, not everybody likes to bake, but uh, there's more to uh, just uh, cupcake and cake decorating than there is just making a cake for home. Right, right. I mean. I have got, there's numerous tips. There's different tips that do different things. Um, on the cupcakes I brought today, I used a 2D. Um, it does, you can do big stars 
uh-huh. and it does the little rosettes. But you know, even there's a one M, which is a bigger tip. It makes more like a rose top uh-huh. than what I've got here today. And I mean, they're they're they start with a just the smallest little bitty circle, and you know, just randomly go. There's all kinds. I mean, there's some tips I own that I've never even used. Don't know <laughs> what they do. I yeah. will just put them on a, on some icing and just test them and see what they yeah. do, yeah. just in case I think, oh, okay. I learned the other day, it was really funny. I wondered how they were um, doing the drizzle on the side of case. I have a tip for that. I did not know what that tip was. I found I had it the other day. So I'm excited to use it on my next cake. (laughs) Experiment with it. Yes, a lot of it is experimentation. I mean, if you take the classes, you get a cake board that, and with little inserts that show Uh you what tips do what, and you can Uh try a practice board. so that is good. YouTube is really good. Um, right. The internet is amazing because if I don't know how to do something, I can just go on there and look and say, how do you do such and such? And it'll pop it up. It's wonderful. So. Well, that, that's good. That's that's interesting because I know that uh, probably a lot of people do that. And uh, I know there's been, I've known several people in the past who've done cakes and different things around. But um, you said your business has grown since the class. It has. And uh, uh, one thing I want to stress to people, and we're going to show these in a little bit. Matter of fact, we're going to eat one. (laughs) But uh, uh, people just can't call you like today and say, hey, I need a cake for tonight. No, (laughs) I do not have them stockpiled. They are made, you know, they are baked to order. Um, I need at least three to four days. I mean, it's good. You know, a week or so is even better, but three to four days is good. Um, I do have to work it around my primary job. This is not my primary job, uh-huh. but um, I do, you know, try to do as much as I can for people just because, I, I mean, we don't have a lot of options over here. Right. Um, I'm not a Walmart fan as far as, you know, going in and buying a cake because, number one, they're frozen. Um, I would rather have something that tastes good and is fresh and, you know, just not frozen. Uh-huh. <laughs> so... Well, and uh, with that being uh, being fresh, um, that's the one advantage people have when they come to you is they're fresh. Right. They're not, because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of, um, of course, I know uh, Dairy Queen, they're famous for their cakes, but they have the frozen right. ice cream they cakes. Have, it's a little different. than it, That is different. So I'm not into the, you know, doing the ice cream cakes, obviously. Um, but, yes, because, I mean, over here, there are a few other ladies that do wonderful jobs here in the valley um but our closest you know if you want a good a fresh baked cake a good cake the closest you have is federal bake shop uh-huh. over in hickson that's right. 30 minutes away so you spend an hour of your day going over there plus traffic you know not to say when you can find somebody here locally that you can just you know hey i need this can we is it possible and if i don't know if i can't do it you know i know some others that maybe can so you have a network really yes they don't know it but i I know who they are (laughs) (laughs) well um do you do all this uh from your home or do you have a shop at home right now i work from my kitchen i've actually had to go invest in a new stove for it (laughs) because mine's about give out but uh yes i'd I'd work right out of my kitchen well so that's actually a little puts a little bit more uh uh, convenience to it i guess yes i don't have you know i mean i don't have any overhead as far as you know paying rent or the power we have to have power house anyway and i have a stove there and i have everything else there so that you know helps a little bit on keeping my cost though i would like to have one of the outbuildings in my backyard and have it set up and that is all that's in there is my you know just for my case and uh-huh. doing my bakery out of it that is my goal yeah eventually well that's why i was going to ask you if you had a goal of maybe have, opening up a shop here in town or around i just Honestly, I you know I don't know if I want to do it full time. I mean, I enjoy it right now, and there's a satisfaction of when I'm done with certain cakes. You know, oh my gosh, this turned out so good. Um, one of my favorite ones here lately, I was asked to do a keg, a Jack Daniels keg, and the one the picture they showed me was um, had fondant on it. I did mainly buttercream, and I did the rings around it were the fondant. So stuff like that that you know uh-huh. if i can do it now i get great satisfaction because right. i was amazed at how it turned out 
and as far as I know, the client, they really enjoyed it too. They were, you know, really appreciative. But it's just, you know, the things <coughs> you can actually use to bake your cakes too is limitless. Right. I right. used um, clay pots to do it. Two, I had two four inch clay pots uh -huh. and a six inch cake in the middle and it made a perfect keg. Well. But I do like I do have it on my, you know, pictures on my Facebook. Uh huh. So there is a Facebook page for it if somebody wants to go and look. What what is the name of that page? It is Frosted Flamingo Bakery. Okay, and that's on your Facebook page. Um, yeah, well, they can find it that way, or they can go through me, which is Kathy Real Shellhorn, um, S C H A L L H O R N. Okay, good. I just spell it. Nobody knows how to spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Well, I, <clears throat> I had to ask you how to pronounce it, so because it's not uh, pronounced like it's no, spelled. No, it is not. Like my name, and the last name. now, uh, <clears throat> other than. Uh, cakes and cupcakes do you make uh, or have you had requests like for pies and other things i don't like do doing pies uh -huh. pies are so much more labor intensive oh okay and pies are people don't you know pies are not cheap and i mean i know you can go buy mrs butterworth or whatever they are you know really five or six dollars pies are not that cheap to make i try to stay away from pies uh -huh. i have done some cookies I actually made um, done cut done cutouts for a lady who wanted to bake them and decorate them, and then I've also done some of the cookies where at Valentine's Day I did hearts and I iced them and oh, did that. Okay. So I can I can do that. I have the stuff to do it. I don't get a lot of requests, but I'm not. That's not my expertise. Uh -huh. um, some of these cookies you see on here, people are amazing. Right. And uh -huh. I just I don't know. I don't feel like I'm that. Yeah. That is not where my expertise is. Well, do you ever get requests? Uh, I know I see all these cakes, like different kids' cakes. You have the cartoon characters or things like that. Do you get yes, requests Yes, I do. Um, I mean, my cakes are, you know, definitely, it's whatever you request. Um, I have a cake today that I'll be doing. She's requested a truck be on it a particular year of a truck. Oh. So I've had an edible image made, and it'll have a Chevy bow tie on it. But, yes, um... I can um, take a picture and tr um, I will trace it and put it on the cake uh -huh. and pop it and it'll look like who you know I've done um, Sonic the Hedgehog I've done one of my very first ones was Odie my dad liked it yet he thought it was funny <laughs> but um, I've done quite a few of them yeah. I, the pipe the star tips doing a whole lot of that with carpal tunnels not real good but <laughs> we make it through but when in the end it's just like oh my gosh i love it yeah i imagine it takes a lot on, on it's that repetitive the, squeezing yeah, yeah. yeah it takes time it does do it, right. it does and you don't want to have a bunch of holes you got to get it so close and you don't want close one of the um most requested right now have been my strawberry cake with homemade strawberry icing or a lemon cake with homemade lemon buttercream well um and those i do a rosette um all the way to decorate it uh -huh. and then just put lemons or strawberries on top i recently did make a um, piano cake really and chocolate use chocolate ganache icing on that and as well as i did a chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream icing frosting and then my chocolate ganache and it poured over it and dripped down the sides and then had it um, the trim was in the chocolate ganache with hershey kisses well, i mean hershey bars hershey bars well that's, that sounds interesting. It's death by chocolate is what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. I mean, there's a... Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, do people, uh, to get in contact with you, do they, can they call you? They can call me, 423-488-8313. Um, they can text. Um, I do have on my Frosted, on the, on Frosted Flamingo Bakery, there is an email, um, FrostedFlamingoBakery72 at gmail.com. Or there is a an appointment thing on there's an appointment button on the website that oh, they okay. can click on there and send me a message through there. Okay. So there's several different ways. So they can get in touch with you a lot of ways then. Uh, <clears throat> um, I've already asked you that. Um, <laughs> do you do uh, like special events like uh, I know. Uh, Maybe it was a one-time thing. This fall, you did a thing for the 
the band at a football game, but do you ever do it special events where you cook up a lot, like cupcakes, for example? I have not. Um, I have been asked. Um, I know CVS did they their health hub that they have. Uh -huh. I was asked to do a cake for them, so they wanted a cake. But I mean, I'm you know if I if I'm asked if I can do it, I will. I've done a couple of charities. Um, where we were you know, fundraisers for people where I'll donate uh -huh. cupcakes and stuff like that. But I mean, if I'm asked, I sure will. And of course, uh, I imagine you do a lot of things too, even just the layer cakes as well. Oh yes, yes. The um, the tier, the like the, um, what I'll be doing today will be a t uh, just a regular cake. We don't have two layers. Uh -huh. um, I'm doing a wedding cake in October, I think it is. So I can, you know, I'm pretty flexible. I've got all kinds of pans for, you know, all different sizes and, and shapes. And, and that brings up another thing. It takes a lot of uh, equipment, different. So that takes up space as well. I have in my, <coughs> I keep them in the garage in a tote, what I can. And then I have some hanging on my wall so I can at least see what I have. But yes, I, I do not, well, I don't do a lot of the character cakes that you can go buy an Elmo pan and do that. I just don't like doing those. I would rather pop it onto a sheet cake or something. Uh -huh. um, it's just easier. So I've gotten away from doing just the character cakes as far as a pan, but I will still do characters own cakes, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's just easy to have her a sheet cake and then pop it on there and then fill it in and make right. it look like the character. Um, but yeah, I can, because I imagine much any size. <clears throat> if you did a pancake, you'd have to buy that special pan. Yes. And then you may not ever use it again, it, it, or you might not use it till next year. Exactly, because I've got a tear <clears throat> cake that my husband actually bought, and my cousin did for my surprise 30th birthday, I guess, and I've never used it since. <laughs> um, and the pans are anywhere from 10 to $20, yeah. you know, if you want to get a good pan. And then, you know, you don't ever, you know, You've got to be able to make a little bit of a profit, right. so you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on having all those pans around. So, no. but you know, if you're a at home baker and you just want to make a cake for your child's birthday, they're great for one time, you know, for you. Yeah. But yeah, for what I'm doing, no. No, that would. Uh, but if you know, if probably if there was a, if I had a shop and you know how the federal bake shop displays all theirs, it may yeah. get more. But most people are not looking for just a generic cake like that. They are wanting something different. Well, do you sell more uh, cakes, or do you sell more cupcakes, or cakes. Is it cakes? More cakes, more cakes and cupcakes. Yes. Imagine the. Um, which one takes the most time, the cakes or the cupcakes? The cake. Cake. <clears throat> Honestly, because I can, like, when I go home, I'll be doing um, <coughs> four dozen cupcakes. They're going to have. Now these may be a little bit different because the tip I use is a grass tip uh -huh. and you've got to put that grass on every on half of the cupcakes and then the other will be baseballs. So it honestly it depends on what you're doing. Just uh -huh. to do cupcakes like these here, these are the easiest thing to do. I would rather do this than cakes. But once you get a cake smooth and you're just putting the pie, the, the accents on it or whatever, uh -huh. it goes pretty quick. Mixing your mixing your icing colors up takes more longer than anything because you may have six different colors you have to have and you have to have six different bowls and make sure you've got enough of everything because you don't want to run out and have to remix because it's so hard to sometimes if you get the colors get right. the color right yes I like to have extra than not enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I can't blame you for that and because uh, uh, so really it's it's uh, it's not just going here and fix the cake put it in the oven and you know, there's a lot too. And, and not buying just, a, you know, frosting off of the shelf because, like, I make a um, cream cheese frosting from scratch. My buttercream is from scratch. Every icing that I make is from scratch. I do not, you know, go and buy a Betty Crocker or whoever and use that. There's such a big difference in taste uh -huh. and quality, in my opinion. I mean, you know, growing up, yes, I thought Betty Crocker chocolate icing was the bomb. <laughs> but now that I've made my own, I would much rather have my own. It's kind of like macaroni and cheese. I make my own sauce. A craft is okay, but I really like my own. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can attest to yours because I've had them and I know they're they're different than anything I've well, ever thank tasted. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, very good. So, if you ever try those, get a chance to try them. You you, you don't you won't you don't need to miss out because it's good. And uh, <clears throat> 
Well, uh, Kathy, is there anything uh, you want people to know uh, about your uh, bakery or uh, anything else that we haven't gone over? No, I think that's pretty much it. Also, I mean, I, I will tell you, I do work at Walgreens as my day job. And funny thing, I do have people call me there <laughs> on case. Um, so, I mean, if you can't get a hold of me any other way, if you see me at Walgreens and you're walking in, just say, hey, you know, because I've had a lot of people say, hey, I didn't know you made cakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. She said, they're like, well, I will be needing one. And, you know, and it's since the um, class we went through, I've had that uh -huh. because people have seen that. And I've got, you know, it's just, it's just amazing how just, you know, that little bit of, and most of, I don't advertise. Uh -huh. Mine is all word of mouth. Right. I do have cards, um, but I don't leave them typically at any place. I give them, let's say you order one, I will attach one to your cake, you'll have it. And But, you know, mine's all been word of mouth. And I not only um, do over here, I have several people who are repeat, repeats from over in Dallas Bay, Middle Valley area. Oh, really? Yes, sir. That's where I grew up, so oh, okay. I know people from over there. And I've had one girl that I've done cakes for her for the last eight years really for her son and her daughter well uh how does your husband see uh, uh has he liked the idea of you having your bakery there at the house he does okay he's actually <laughs> he actually will bake my cakes now i've got him to, i've got him involved oh, yeah. i've got him to where he will he can he works second he works till midnight at walmart and then he'll come home and he'll bake my cakes for me if i have any he actually bakes these well. so he kind of helps me out there because we both do work full-time jobs, so uh -huh. it takes both of us. And I pay him a little bit, you know. I let him live there, <laughs> but uh, he's he's it's it, you know, God has provided for us honestly because he was he had lost his job, and in three months, you know, we didn't have but one income coming in, and I was doing these cakes during that time. God provided has provided for these you know for us to for me to be able to do this. So I feel like, you know, it's something I'm supposed to do. Uh -huh. And I don't look at it as a job. It's, you know, I enjoy it. So, you know, and it's gotten us through times when we didn't have, you know, when we needed it. Right. So I feel like God gave me a talent and, you know, I'm, you know, just doing the best I can with it. Well, then people need to understand, too, uh, uh, <clears throat> talk about the cost and things like that, that, uh, uh, you know, when you do, if they want to do one at home, that's fine. But when you get someone else to do it, you pay them for their time, the, all the ingredients. Like you said, you have the uh, homemade ingredients right. that you do as opposed to store-bought and right. right off the shelf. So there's a lot of things to it. Oh, yes, there that, is. Uh, so uh, it's not like they can just go and spend $5, $6 and have a cake. You know, they, There's, there's more a to lot it. more to it, yes, because by the time if they went out and bought every tip they needed, bought every, you know, you icing bags, you've got icing bags, you've got the tips you need, you have all your ingredients for the cake, you have your cake, you have your icing, your box, you know, you, there's there's numerous things. And I mean, I do start, um, my basic cake is $30, uh -huh. and I go up from there depending on what they want on it, whether an edible image or, you know, if it's just icing. If it's just a regular, 10 by 13 cake, just basic, you know, just frosting, no anything different, I usually $30. Um, I charge $15 a dozen for my cupcakes. Unless it is like a specialty cupcake, it will be a little bit more, like um, red velvet or something uh -huh. like that, strawberry or lemon, anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, you, that saying, you get what you pay for, uh -huh. I really believe that. Sure, sure. And I, I mean, I've only <clears throat> had, in my 21 years i've only had one person ever complain they didn't tell it to me but they had the nerve to come through my primary job <laughs> through the drive through and told them that i charged too much well that's fine i understand that i respect that you can go elsewhere yeah. you don't have to pay it and you know that's yeah you get that everywhere i mean uh -huh. but i have not you know to my knowledge they've all everybody i've serviced has really enjoyed them i've never had a bad review that i know of if you know you have had a cake from me and want to leave a review good or bad i mean i would like to know if there's something i can do better right you know or didn't you know do what you know you needed let me know i mean i just you know want to do what the client wants well it's better to let you know if they did if you did something wrong to let them know but, yes because that way you can fix it if they don't let I, you know then you can't fix i it. did have one one time and did humidity plays a big part sometimes in your icing uh -huh. and 
the cake had went to the other end of town and it got there and it all fell off the icing did oh no so um, i put, took my little handy dandy kit of my to-go kit to fix up the cake kit i went up there we fixed it it looked better than it did to begin <laughs> with and they were happy so i mean you know i will try and make it right whatever it is right, right. so sorry oh that's all right no and uh folks uh you if you want to go ahead and open okay, that yeah. up uh remember kathy and uh, she uh, she's going to be with us uh, here she's a local person so you'll want to make sure you get with kathy if you need any bakery items and I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and get get one, and I'm going to try, and you can... These look. are vanilla cake, Glenn, with chocolate icing. Vanilla cake with chocolate icing. And there we go. And folks, remember you can watch this program on BTC Fiber YouTube page. If you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe and like that page. You also see us on our Facebook page as well and BTC Fiber uh, Channel 18. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's good, don't miss out. Thank you. Hey everybody, this is Glenn Edison from Valley Views. We appreciate you watching our shows and we would like for you to like, share, and follow us on Facebook as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.